Empower has been transforming the lives of older adults with long-term conditions in Scotland, Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland. One of the keys to the success of the cross-border project has been harnessing the power of technology to improve access to the services people need. Virtual pulmonary rehab is offered to any patient over 65 years of age and for any uh, lung condition to increase physical fitness, increase their strength and their quality of life and just live better with their disease. I am not able to walk very far without oxygen. Getting to the hospital and trying to find a parking space and then having to literally run into the hospital, and I found that very stressful. When they announced that they were going to do the virtual ones, I was delighted with that. They set me up, so all I had to do was click in and I was actually in the class. And I continue doing the exercises so that I can keep breathing normally. It failed incredibly virtuous at the end of it. It was so convenient. You were relaxed, you were at home. I just found it great. Patients get to see one another and chat to one another and share some tips about living with the chronic conditions. You felt part of a group, part of a little family really. We started working with Empire in 2019, so this was pre the COVID pandemic. Empire has supported us by providing the equipment and also providing the technical expertise and teaching the patients how to use the equipment. So when COVID happened, we were able to continue without any disruption to service. I am 78, and if I could do it, I think everybody could do it. Virtual pulmonary rehabilitation was the first of its kind nationally. We were shortlisted at the HSE Excellence Awards and also the Irish Healthcare Awards. We noticed the success of the COPD clinic, therefore it was decided nationally to roll it out to clinicians. Attend Anywhere has been a massive help to us here in the Northwest. It allows us to remotely link in with clients, to go through the instruction of the hearing aid with them. Having the Scottish tech team on board in support of the implementation of Attend Anywhere meant that it was rolled out faster. To date, over 220,000 consultations have taken place virtually across the HSE. When anything becomes wrong with grandma or grandpa, it affects the whole family. So if we can intervene by video conferencing and give the required treatment on time, I believe that helps everybody. This digital hub is for patients to come and have their dementia diagnosis and review appointments within the community facility building. We greet the patients at the door, we get a wee cup of tea, kind of talk them through what they're going to be doing. Instead of coming into like a hospital, you come in here and it's very informal. I think it's brilliant. If I didn't have a remote appointment, I would have to go and meet uh, Dr. Itiluki. With telephone consultations, you can't even see the patients. They can't see you. But with the new scheme, Empower has brought in video conferencing. It's a much better option. By remote working, we should be able to cut down on our waiting lists. This is a starting point for further clinics to develop from this initiative and it will grow for other specialties. People are still a bit reticent to come to an, mm -hmm. an appointment uh, and when they go through the process and on the way out, it's one of the comments is, I'm glad I actually uh, came here today. Over the last five years, Empower has implemented the technology and developed the digital skills of staff throughout the health and care service. The project's legacy will ensure even more people can connect with clinicians remotely as well as stay connected to friends and family. I'm an Empire Community Navigator. The principal role is to link in with an older person. Patrick had a stay in hospital and he came home and he found himself just a little isolated, not quite sure how to get back up and going again. Karen came along and said, even though you're in your 80s now, you can stay active for much longer, both mentally and physically. She reviewed her wellbeing plan with me and I've picked several of them and I've activated several of them. The community navigator's role really is to help support that plan whether it's signposting to various other agencies or information online. We look at their general fitness, sleeping, diet. And I get a new food supply every week. 
he was finding it very hard to keep in touch with his family, seeing them face to face. So we linked him in with an Alexa Echo show. Alexa, play RTE Radio 1. I can call and get phone calls from my family. And my son, he says, OK, are you walking a lot? I said, yeah, I'm walking a lot. Are you eating good food? Yeah, look at my breakfast. And so we can see my face and say, yeah, this guy is still OK. It always comes back to listening. That's the nice thing about the, the programme. It's really activated me. I now do quite a lot of walking and have an interest in being well. Empire showed us uh, a way to innovate digitally. The world is a smaller place because of digital and virtual means. Technology plays a vital role in connecting all of us with family and friends. And for those over 65, it can be even more important. Especially for those who are socially isolated. The pandemic had a massive impact on the residents in care homes. We had done a call around to all of the care homes in our area to see what the needs and wants were and then looked at how we could fill that gap and fill it quickly. We purchased a number of iPads, spent some time pre-loading them with apps and links. The biggest meaning for them was the connectivity, that they weren't just locked away. They not only use it for keeping in touch with friends and family, but for also exploring hobbies. Somebody with MS who can't hold a paintbrush is suddenly painting through some of the technology we've used. WAVE stands for Weekly Audiovisual Engagement. Before the pandemic hit, our projects were very much focused on combating social isolation through our different telephone services. During the pandemic, we saw there was a clear skills gap between older people in our community. People weren't sure how to use the devices that had been bought for them. Danny approached our project looking for advice on how he could continue to play his music for groups, for carers. His whole idea for learning had that altruistic goal in mind where he wanted to continue to volunteer his services. We have people to help me to set up an email. I got a tablet and they showed me how to use it too. Empire gives us the chance to go out into the community and make direct referrals to a healthcare professional, to memory services, connect them with a local carers group. Just living a normal life, you need to connect with people. Especially for the, the group that I'm working with, the dementia group, I was able to do uh, Zoom meetings with those people. The world needs music. Music is a great healer. It gives you a wee bit more confidence. The smallest interventions sometimes have, have the biggest impact. It can really open up a, a new world of opportunities and it can be a very exciting time. Empower supported Jumsna through the community funds to develop a tech hub where older people over 65 can learn to use digital technologies and devices. We're in quite a rural area. Not every household may have internet connection. And then some people may not be able to afford technology, so we provide it here. I suffer a bit from depression and I like coming over here. It's something to get up for, very important. We just chat or maybe play drafts or chess or pool on the touch screen. You meet new, sometimes new faces coming in, you know. We're doing quiz nights, bingo nights, theatre experiences. We want to connect communities. Empower has not only been supporting older adults to improve their health and well-being. It's enabling them to live well, safely and independently in their own homes. We were able to target the most isolated and vulnerable people in our society and they now are a very important part of the groups. Keeps me active and away from getting too depressed otherwise. We're much closer connected now than we were before. Wherever we live, being connected to our community improves our health and well-being. Empower has been funding grassroots community projects to support older adults. To maintain these vital connections to reduce social isolation, stay active and flourish. Hope is helping older people engage. 
people were feeling through the pandemic a lot more socially isolated than they had in the past. They missed their social clubs, they missed their masks. Digital technology is expensive. We wanted to give people a chance to try something before they buy. Empire Community Fund enabled us to run this project. We purchased 25 iPads. The iPad was totally new to me and there was a lot of it I still haven't mastered. I just visited YouTube and I got the idea of putting them together. We had a really good teacher, Mark, he told us all about the iPad, how to set it up, how to change your passwords because we tend to just use the same password for everything. They were all offered the telephone support, how to manage your finances, how to be aware of scams at your door. It's about the connections that they can make with that. We've had conferences and online events that people have been able to attend and we've forged a few new friendships as well. I enjoy coming here, it's a great pastime and I just love to see all this work going on. You come here, you meet people, you find interests that you think, well, I'd never probably do something like that. And it's really, really good. Southern Age Well Network supports 65 older people's groups across the district. Everything stopped when COVID struck. To see the place empty, it was just absolutely awful. We needed to combat social isolation and we needed to open up that space to allow them to come together safely. We were able to access the community fund through the Empire project. We put the COVID packs together and we circulated those out to all of our volunteers. We got our polytone and we got our raised beds and we got the men working here. And they put an accessible pathway so that all of their members were able to access and join in this activity. Being in a wheelchair and with my handicaps, it, it gets me a pleasure in seeing something that I have touched and started and see fruition on. It's a great way of avoiding a bit of depression. You get out of the house, you're motivated, you have something to do. Filled your day up. I meet these men and it's wonderful. Otherwise I'd be stay at home looking at the wall. It's just really good sense of community spirit. Whether it's your parents, grandparents, friends or neighbours. All older people should have the opportunity to lead a healthy, active and full life. The Empire Project has shown that with the right support that can happen.